Hi, and welcome to week six of economics. So this is a preview of the upcoming week. We have many objectives to cover. So let's start this video by um, talking about some essential economic concepts. Uh, demand elasticity or the elasticity of demand, the law of supply, and how they all relate to revenue, basically. These concepts are crucial for understanding how markets work and how businesses make decisions. So elasticity of demand measures how responsive consumers are to changes in the price of a product. Inelastic demand means that consumers are relatively unresponsive to price changes, while elastic demand indicates that consumers are highly responsive. So in terms of elasticity, you could think of the word responsiveness or sensitivity as well. So several factors uh, influence demand elasticity. Uh, let's explore right now some of the key ones. So um, the substitution effect, which we talked about, is a significant factor. If there are close substitutes for a product, demand tends to be more elastic because consumers can easily switch to alternatives if prices change. So think cola and think Pepsi. Uh, now. Whether a product is also a necessity or a luxury also plays a role. So necessities tend to have inelastic demand because people need them regardless of price, such as water. Whereas luxuries often have more elastic demand, such as um, expensive watches or uh, brand names for clothing. Uh, third, there's the time horizon, which matters too. So demand can become more elastic over the long term as consumers have more time to adjust their behavior. As we said in class, consumer preferences and consumer choice, as well as consuming uh, consumer purchasing power, is constantly changing over time. So let's discuss a little bit about how elasticity relates to revenue. So the key idea here is that changes in price and quantity sold can affect the company's total revenue. When demand is elastic, meaning responsive or sensitive, lowering prices can increase total revenue because the percentage increase in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage decrease in price. Conversely, when demand is inelastic, unresponsive, increasing prices can increase total revenue because the percentage decrease in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage increase in price. Moving on to the law of supply, the law of supply states that all else being equal, as the price of a good or a service rises, the quantity supplied increases and vice versa. And of course, several factors can affect supply. Input costs are one, they play a significant role. If the cost of inputs like labor or raw materials increases, producers may supply less of a product at each price level. Uh, technological advancements or innovation as well can increase supply by making production more efficient. Uh, government regulation, government regulation meaning um, government uh, interference, government moderation or um, government intervention can also impact supply. So for instance, environmental regulations might restrict the production of certain goods. So think about the governments limiting the their carbon footprints of their countries, and that affects, of course, the oil and gas industry, which in effect affects other industries and so on. So to sum it up, uh, understanding demand elasticity, supply, and the relationship between price and revenue is fundamental in economics. It helps businesses make pricing decisions and it helps us grasp the dynamics of market behavior. So I look forward to seeing you all next week. I look forward to your questions and I look forward to your thoughts. We'll of course be incorporating some real life connections, some real current events that are going on to help us understand as well as some scenario and role-playing types of activities. So see you.